I want them to reopen the Sandra Bland case. You know, there's a long list of names on the Black Lives Matter movement, a long list of names. And we want justice for every single one of the people on that list, every single one. We need justice. That's why we got to keep marching, because you marching peacefully, protesting, letting your voices be heard. You made a difference, and you're going to keep on making a difference. You know, there's, there's going to be a special. I don't know which network did it, HBO or one of them, but they did something on Sandra Bland. And what I want you to check out, Fish Next, is so powerful. This is Sandra Bland in her own words talking about why it's so important for our lives, black lives, to matter in this country. Sandra Bland, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Sandy Speaks is going to focus directly on my white people. White people. Yes, black people know that all lives matter. But what I need you guys to understand is that being a black person in America is very, very hard. Although you all love to say, oh, nobody should see race. People are the reason that racism is still alive. Well, what kind of people are the reason? Black racists have no power, whereas white racists do. They have power because they are in positions of control or they're in positions where they can influence the control over black people. Yes, that is very true. So to my friends who want to get on my videos and they're, compl they're upset about the picture that I posted, oh well, I will not apologize for it because at the moment, black lives matter. They matter. Our media is showing you, obviously they don't. So for y'all that can sit around and say all lives matter, I want you to go put it on a poster and stand out on a corner somewhere. If we can get enough white people to show that all lives matter, maybe they'll stop killing our black brothers. Because obviously that's what it's going to take for the white people to get up and get tired of black people saying black lives matter. So if y'all want it to stop, you get out there and do something about it. But what you're not going to do is get on my page with the foolishness. I am not a racist. I grew up in Villa Park, Illinois, was the only black girl on an all-white cheerleading squad. So I had to learn how to deal with and... Black people, you will not be successful in this world until you learn how to work with white people. But I want the white folks to really understand out there, black people are truly, we're doing, we're, we're doing as much as we can. And we can't help but get pissed off when we see situations where it's clear the black life didn't matter. For those of you questioning why was he running away, well, goddamn. Because in the news that we've seen as of late, you could stand there, surrender to the cops, and still be killed. Plain and simple. You might have a, a, a black friend or two. And I'm not calling all white people racist because y'all not. But for the ones who want to get on my page talking about all lives matter, show me in American history where all lives have mattered. Show me where there has been liberty and justice for all. Like that um, fucking Pledge of Allegiance we love to say. Excuse my French because Sandy Speaks don't usually cuss. But white people, if all lives mattered, would there need to be a hashtag for black lives mattering? Think about that. Just truly think about that. I am into building up my kings and queens. So for me, black lives matter. And then subset, all lives matter. Take it or leave it. Sandy Speaks. Get out of the car. Why am I being apprehended? You just I'm giving you all order. Door. You just I'm opened my car door. So you're going you're threatening to drag me out of my own car. Get out of the car. And then you're going to stop me? I will light me? you up. Get out. Wow. Now. Wow. Get out of the car. Really for a failure to signal. You're doing all of this for Get a Get over to there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take this to court. Let's do Go it. Ahead. For a failure to signal. Yep. For a failure to signal. Get off the phone. On my school. Get off the phone. I'm not on the phone. I have a right to Put record. This is my down. property. This Put is my property. Down. Sir? Put your phone down. <gasps> right now. Put your phone down. Oh, you're about to break my wrist. Can you stop? stop you are about to fucking break my wrist. Stop! Stop, stop. stop now! Stop man. it! Stop resisting, man! If you would stop, and I would tell you. Oh, fucking now stop! You are such a pussy. You are such a pussy. No, you oh, are. You're around. Oh, traffic, man! Oh, traffic, 
make no. You are. We have to just stop icing these things over. We have to stop acting like they don't matter. And so Sandy is going to speak whenever I see something wrong. I thank you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate all of your support. And I hope you have a very blessed, prosperous, successful. Go out there and do something great today. Change your life, even if it's just smiling at somebody. Love you guys. Rest in power, Sandra Bland. Rest in peace, Sandra Bland. Did you hear her words, man? Did you hear her words? She knew that this wasn't going to go anywhere, this movement, without some of you, our Caucasian brothers and sisters. Sandra Bland, you are now her voice. You're speaking very loudly. You spoke loud, America. You spoke loud. This movement is not dying. This movement is not about only George Floyd. It's about Sandra Bland who spoke in her own voice. You know how powerful that is, man? Man, shout out to my man Gus in New York, checking out the show. Gus, I got the videos. I'm going to check them out. Thank you very much. Gus Patino out there in New York. Thank you, Gus. Fish, I will not rest until I get justice for Sandra Bland. And Eric Garner. And Freddie Gray. And all those names. Troy Bell. All those names. Tamir Rice, all those names, all those names, and it's still going on, y'all. So don't think that, okay, they're going to be happy now because they got what they wanted. They got the arrest of uh, those policemen in Minnesota. Oh, now we can rest peacefully. The black folks have got what they wanted. Nah, no.